Hi everyone. So this is going to be part 7 of my coming out series. So I published the first part of my coming out series exactly a year ago today, after having had recently come out in my high school yearbook quote. And publishing that quote and making this series has seriously changed my life for the better. It's allowed me to live more authentically and not have to hide part of me. And I've also gotten some really nice feedback. In college, for example, my friends Ethan and Max, they both checked out my uh, coming out series and they've been super supportive, and I'm really lucky to have those guys as friends. And I've also gotten some feedback from people who said that I've helped them feel more comfortable with themselves, which is just an amazing feeling. One guy even messaged me saying that I gave him the courage to come out to his family, and so that just makes me feel really proud of myself, knowing that I've been able to help someone. And um, things, haven't been, things haven't been completely smooth sailing though. So in March, my eight-year-old cousin actually came across my coming out series, and it inevitably spread to my uncle, aunt, dad, stepmom, and grandma. So that was quite a stressful time since it all happened within like 24 hours, and I had no control over it. I was just sitting in my college dorm trying to take it all in as I got messages from my family. And, and I was trying to focus on academics too, which was a little bit hard, but it ended up going quite well overall. They were all quite supportive. And I think the worst thing that someone said was that I had um, hurt the family by coming out to YouTube first before them. And I think that's a completely valid point. And I do regret a little bit making my coming out series having had, having had not told them first. But at the same time, I just hope they realize that it can be hardest to be open to the people that you care about so much, since you don't want to disappoint them and you don't want them to perceive you differently. And I've been able to have really uh, nice conversations with them about uh, being LGBTQ plus and um, what the community is. And when my dad picked me up from college, we were able to have a good conversation too. Um, he did say though that he would stop making homophobic jokes because of me, which I think had a nice intention, but at the same time, it shouldn't be because of me that he doesn't make homophobic jokes. It should just be because that it creates an unnecessary stigma that doesn't have to exist for LGBTQ plus people. And so that doesn't need to be perpetuated. And what's also nice in college is that people are not only quite comfortable being LGBTQ plus, but people are seem to, seem to not be afraid to bring up the topic. Take my genetics class, for example, where we were talking about pedigrees, which show modes of genetic inheritance and males are represented by squares and females are represented by circles. And so someone asked how transgender people would be represented in pedigrees. And I thought that was a completely valid question. And I think it was cool that they were comfortable asking that. I'm just thinking like 20 years ago, if someone had asked that question, there have probably been like gasps around the room and the classes on Zoom, so I couldn't tell people's reactions were, but people seemed totally fine with it. And so, yeah, people shouldn't be afraid to bring up um, LGBTQ plus topics um, in the curriculum. And speaking of college, I actually got a job at my college's Gender Sexuality Center, which I may or may not start in the fall because I might also be a chemistry TA, and so I want to focus on that and other academics too. But the fact that they hired me and saw something in me really makes me happy. I had an interview with them where I talked about um, my coming out series and uh, and my identity, and um, so I guess they saw something in me. And so after college, um, I came back at home in May, and I'm just quite a bit more comfortable at home now. Um, after my family had found out about me, I published a cover of Caleb Scott's No Matter What um, on the piano. It's one of my favorite songs. And also this past June was Pride Month, and the town next to me had a bunch of signs in the lawns with like um, a rainbow design which I thought was cool that people were comfortable putting those signs in their lawns and making a statement for support of the LGBTQ plus community. And also during Pride Month, Carl Nassi became the first current NFL player to come out as gay, which I thought was pretty incredible for him to do. And he made a really cool little coming out video where he said that he's not doing it for attention, but for the representation. And he donated $100,000 to the Trevor Project which is an, a nonprofit organization for LGBTQ plus uh, suicide prevention and youth. And in fact, I read an article that said that LGBTQ plus youth with an accepting adult are 40% less likely to attempt suicide, which is kind of a scary, but 
also really awesome to statistic to know that visibility really does save lives. And so with um, people like Carl Nassib coming out when people say that, well, or when people see that in the media, I think that um, makes people more comfortable with it. And then LGBTQ plus youth are more likely to reach out to adults for support. And so that's really awesome that Carl Nassib was able to do that. And I hope that um, other people will feel comfortable uh, doing the same in the future, inspired by people like him. And so all in all, I'm quite a bit happier now. Are things flawless at home? Not exactly. I mean, my parents do live an hour apart, so it's kind of annoying to have to go back and forth between houses, but that's nothing in comparison to the feeling of just being able to be comfortable at home and honest with myself. And so a year ago today, I made my first coming out video and I'm a lot happier now and comfortable with myself. And I'll keep posting videos in the future, um, mostly music ones. I started singing recently. I've broken out of my comfort zone a little bit to try singing, um, got off the keyboards a little bit, and I've been having fun with it. Um, so thank you for watching this video.